Oh shit, the kids, what the fuck? Hey guys, Trevor Kuchalima today with, we're back with Dura, episode 6. Just want to apologise for last week, I think I did the episode when I was way too tired. So I was super slow on everything. I rewatched the episode, it was the last episode, I watched it when I was tired. I just missed out on silly stuff, like at the end when he screamed, obviously had his voice. Because I even said that at the start of my reaction, which I edited out, was um, when he killed the first monster, did that give him his voice back? Well, he didn't obviously know, so he didn't talk. But towards the end when he screamed, it just went over my head. I think with everything going on with me being tired as well, it just went over my head that he screamed, which means he's got his voice back voice box back so this episode i'm guessing we're going to be exploring that man's got the hearing back and then we've also got to learn a bit more about mia and what she's doing as her night job she's got to make money somehow which seems a bit dangerous about looks of it because now she's playing with both sides which should be all right hopefully and we'll see what happens with the character because i'm interested to see where they're going to take that route and also see how they're going to explore that relationship with akimaru god that ending was so shocking like it was like getting bit off the find about Mio and it was just like all at once then the episode just ends it was so like no I want my next episode now so we've got quite a lot to do this episode and I wonder how he's going to get his leg back does he get the leg back when he sort of kills the demon because I know he's, that was the leg that was actually already got back already got back so because the, because the demon ate his leg does that mean if he kills that demon does he get his leg back or does he get a fake leg again I'm curious where to go take that I'm curious what body parts he's going to get next but I'm so excited to actually hear him talk instead. so the only way to find out what's going to happen in the episode is to watch it so please like the video if you enjoy it and um, subscribe for the channel if you want to see more. I'm going to do Death Parade, Jojo's Bar of Adventure, Ewan Galeon, some winter season anime as well. So feel free to check those out. Let's get into this. Uh, one of the cool details I miss is like the way she hid her clothes when she first met Hakuma along with she was also washing herself in the river which I didn't notice the first time around which really adds to it as well. And I can just pick, give you quite a lot of hints along with the obvious hints as well of her working nights. It's kind of sad. Fucking hell. Oh, Fucking hell, she got fucking... She got... It'd be a weird thing to see for a kid. She's doing a lot for those kids, though. Bloody hell. I wonder if the other kids know. Yeah, I didn't think so. noble little dream apart from that probably won't happen oh we moved to the father just going to see this battle no that is fair to be fair God, the mother's eyes look so dead. <sighs> I thought there was a bit of a, a one-sided... <laughs> Feels like uh, he gets a lot more love for his father. <laughs> bit of family drama here. <laughs> At least the friends aren't yes men, which is pretty cool. The horse riding actually looks decent, I'm shocked. Oh, we're getting to know a bit more about Brother this episode. Oh, is he one of those trying to get the attention of his mother? He's like Azula from Avatar. Because um, Azula's mum always just looks after Zuko. What does he do with his attention? I love how his hair was just blowing in that, that image as well when it's far back, because normally they don't do that. Fucking hell. Come on. Come on, he's being cute. Kawaii. It's weird hearing sounds coming out of him. In that six episodes as well. Oh, the red light disappeared off him as well. Like it looks like it's zooming. <laughs> Definitely sounds like zooming in him. Is that like his uh, urge for vengeance? Oh, 
bit self conscious about it. She's not filthy. Hmm, well done. That is curious. Why'd you go through that? It'd be weird for men to touch you, especially when you're selling your body. I like what they're doing here. It's, uh, it's nice. You just don't feel like it's going to end very well. Oh, the Grenna thinks she's a spy. Because they know she's going to both sides. I hope that's not the case. I've played a lot of war games where they do this sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh, she's going to get herself killed. Is she going to get imprisoned? They're going to think she's a spy. They wouldn't have done that. There was no other reason for them to do that scene than to point out that she's a spy. Me too, I'm having a big moment. <laughs> Mia's face. Well, she's not returning from this job, mate. She's going to think she's a spy. Oh, he's making a little stubble leg. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Shoved in his face. Mm, don't want to see this depressing. I'm just going to lack of sales while he's watching her. Oh, for God's sake. Definitely going to think she's a spy. Fuck! Oh, this isn't going to end well. He gets in prison or killed, and I'm going to, because of the show, sort of episodic, I'm guessing killed. Well, let's talk about it as just a hero. Oh, is my boy going back in again? Man doesn't rest. I wonder if he does get his leg back then, if he kills it. For oh, fuck's sake. How many soldiers? Pokemon, oh, get fucking back now. Oh, mate, this actually is sick. Pokemon oh, needs to get back now. I wonder which army it is though. Is it going to be the army? Oh shit! <laughs> what a guy! Oh, it's... yeah, boy! Oh, that was sick. Oh shit! The kids! What the fuck? Did you just murder them all, mate? Did they just burn down the place? I didn't think they'd do it like that. I thought they'd capture him or something. Oh shit, that's gonna... Why would you kill the kids as well though? They've got no proof for the spot. What the fuck? May. I thought Dora, she was going, Mia was coming with Dora. Oh no. What the fuck? You Pokemon better fucking just slay the shit out of these dickheads. That's not something a kid should see. I didn't think that would happen. I knew she might die or they might be in prison, but that's just fucking brutal. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. Hope she's not. No, she's dead. I need these guys to get murdered to death. Oh, she's still alive. She's still got colour. Mate, the demon gonna be released. Fuck it out. It's the first time we saw a massive emotion on him. Oh, shit. Fuck. Mate, this animation's amazing. Oh, 
fucking hell. That's some neck level animation. That was sick. No, fucking screw you, you bitch. I can't believe they just killed all the kids like that. Oh, please, bro. Oh, it's rice, in it? To make the rice field. Oh, that's so sad. Fucking hell. I did not expect this from this episode. Oh, it's first words as well. Fuck. Mate, that's all sad. I can't believe they actually killed him. Oh. I knew something was going to happen, like, because obviously this whole spy thing, but. What a good two part. This, that was, this has been a sick two part. Fuck. Mate. Like, as soon as this point it was the, the spy thing and they did that scene, you only do that for a reason. Obviously, you can travel between the cameras. So I expected, like, maybe imprisonment or maybe she might be killed, but I didn't expect them just to slaughter the kids like that. Oh, that was pretty graphic. Like, don't get me wrong, I've read things like Berserk and all that lot and Vagabond and stuff like that, but that just, it's very rare you see anime just that brutalised. And the it, fighting was amazingly animated. The fact that when it did the zoom in, you saw him slice his face, that was so well done. Um, yeah, no, that again, me, that was probably my favourite episode of this series so far. This was a sick two parter. I knew that something was probably going to happen just because it's an episodic show. It's not episodic, it's got a storyline, but this seems to be even another week. When you normally do two parters, something bad normally happens. And obviously, I just didn't see her join in the party. Like, I thought maybe she might, at first, I thought maybe she might have joined them on the journeys, but yeah, I did not expect that. That was the animation quality of that was just fantastic. I've got to admit, that was amazing. Sad episode, probably my favorite. I think this is my favorite episode of this season. That was such a good, well done episode. I think the emotion, the symbolism behind like the rice at the end of getting like to me the rice pie. How grown up Duro, Duro, Duro was being like, she he was taking um, that whole situation really well to be fair. Like, she just put him control Hakamori from like just going full on beast mode and just destroying everything. Um, I, I'm, if anyone could clarify, which camp was that? Was that the camp from the brothers family when Hakamura's dad or was that the enemy camp because if it was the other camp I could see them getting the shit kicked out of them later and yeah that was just a brutal end to that was a really sad story like seeing the way Mio was just like struggling and just trying to get on with life and the dream was just seeing how it ends is just really sad and the way the kids are just taken out of that I think personally I would have liked another episode with them like to build on the kids and to build on Mio Hakimaru and Mio's relationship, I think that was a bit wasted in my eyes. I think like if they did one more episode of that like, building on that, that would have been so much more impactful. Like I think this episode you've just seen them get like closer and I love the way there was interaction. I think it was a good interaction for them. But because they it just felt like they quit it short, like I would have loved another episode of them, them chilling. Obviously it would have been more heartbreaking when she died, but I just think it would have been so much more impactful with one more episode just to know the kids and that and just see the situation. But I understand, like, the pacing was still good. Like, I didn't mind. It's just that that was my, that, my bummy in which, but yeah, I've got a 10 out of 10 episode. Uh, I enjoyed that. I think the way the whole episode was shot and done, fantastic. And hopefully, um, you will join me next week to see how this journey unfolds. I don't know what to expect from now on, and I don't know what to expect. And did he get his foot back? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know if he got his foot back. Yeah, and he's got his foot back from killing the demon, so that's cool. So if a demon bites a part of his body and he kills a demon, he does get his body piece back, which is pretty neat. Yeah, amazing episode. Hopefully you join me next week, guys. And peace.